Welcome back to the next section of traffic training. In this section, we're gonna dive deeper into static configurations. Exactly how can we configure the static configurations, the options available, and what is inside the static configuration. And the first thing we need to understand is setting the static configuration, there's three different options available. So we can either use a configuration file, command line argument, or environment variable. Now what's important here to understand is that they're mutually exclusive. What that means is we can only choose one way to set the static configuration. For example, if we choose the configuration file, we can only use the configuration file. We can't use the other two options. Trust me, I've been down this path before. I've tried to mix and match uh, different configuration options and it just causes issues. So please only select one static configuration option. Now, what do the static configuration options look like? Let's first look at the configuration file. So the configuration file can be either in YAML or TOML format. Now, when traffic starts, it actually searches for the traffic TOML or traffic YAML file, and it looks in the Etsy traffic directory. So when it starts up, it looks in this directory, and if, it, if the traffic TOML or traffic YAML file exists, then it reads in the configuration. Now the default configuration location can be changed and that's all an option available within static configuration. Uh, additional is the command line arguments. So what we, in the previous section, we actually started traffic with command line arguments. Now you can use the command line arguments just from running traffic manually from the command line, or you can actually use the command line arguments inside a compose file. So what does that look like? Here's an example of a command line example in Compose. Now, if you can notice, there's the command section here, and here is the minus minus API and secure equals true. So it, we just broke it out a little bit further so it's easier to read and it's easier to maintain if we keep it all in the Compose file. Now, everything that's available in, in the configuration file is also available in the command line or environment variables. Now, speaking of environment variables, you can also do the same uh, configurations in Docker Compose with environment variables. Now, what's really great about environment variables is you can tokenize these variables, and that means you can actually set these variables and make changes to them automatically through your automation techniques. And this is super helpful if you're setting up like multiple traffics or you're setting them up for testing, then you can change the variable based on where it's being deployed. Now here's another environment variable example of the static configuration. And you can see again, I have included the environment section and here you have traffic API secure equals true. So exactly as the command line example, just in environment variable format. So instead of the command equals or command double point, we now have environment double point and the same exact configurations are here. Now I have some examples in the section two configure traffic section. So in the GitHub repo, you can actually look at the command line versus environment variable repo, uh, environment variable uh, example. And we'll run through this in the lab and we'll look at the different options available between the configuration file, the command line and using environment variables. So join me in the next section as we start using these in the lab.